Hi guys, it's Hanny from Eclipse Hall Sports and I just wanted to bring you another New Balance cricket bat review. Uh, so today we're going to be looking at the TC550 Plus cricket bats. Uh, we're going to start off with cricket bat number one. Uh, so you're getting a nice looking piece of willow. Decent number of grains on this one. You're looking around about 8-9 grains. A little bit of heartwood there as well. Uh, so you've got the fibre sheet fitted. Um, we're just going to get the weights and measurements. Uh, for you, so this particular one we're looking at a 36 millimeter edge, uh, a 64 millimeter spine. So you're getting a big spine, decent size edge. It's weighing at two pound 11.2, but that's including the fiber sheet. So you're looking around about two ten and a half without the fiber sheet fitted. You're looking at nine grains on the bat, uh, so a good number of grains. A decent looking bat as well. There's not many blemishes, there's probably a little blemish up here and then a few little speckles there but other than that it's pretty decent looking back um, so yeah it's a lovely shape, nice shape same as the other New Balance bats so you're getting the same quality finish, really nice and smooth really good quality finish, same quality stickers same quality grip and I would say this is probably a medium uh, semi-oval handle slightly flatter at the bottom um, probably feels a bit more round than than some of the others but it is much flatter at the bottom giving it a slight semi oval feel um, so yeah it's a really nice bat and if you look down the spine you can see lovely high spine very little wood taken out so you get a nice big shape wide sweet spot long sweet spot batch fit toe guard so you've got the FC Sondi hologram sticker like you get with all the new balance bats made out in the FC Sondi factory in India um, so yeah this one picks up nice, probably feels about £2.10. I've said this about all the new balance bats. They do pick up really well. They're not massively lighter than the weight suggests, but they do pick up nice and they are well balanced. Um, so yeah, it feels really good. So this is quite a big bat, full shape. And performance, brilliant guys. Really good performance. Excellent, just look at that. The ping on it is excellent guys. So if you wanted something that pings well and you don't want to spend a massive amount of money then I would highly recommend these New Balance Cricket Bats because uh, they're consistently performing really well the looks on them is pretty good they've only got a few blemishes, nothing too serious uh, you get well, um, pretty full as well, there's not a massive so you're getting a nice shape as well, decent size edges, good high spine same shape as the top end bats uh, excellent performance guys and they're uh, 119.99 and again you get a free New Balance padded back cover and you get free UK mainland delivery as well so really good value for money, really good quality cricket bat uh, really impressed with these New Balance bats guys uh, so that's uh, TC550 Plus cricket bat number one um, we're going to move on to cricket bat number two and we'll just take a quick look at this one so again, you're looking at around about 8 grains again, a little bit of heartwood again, nice looking bat to be honest for a low grade, this is classed as a grade 3, 4, and uh, to be honest I've seen grade 2's not look as good as this, um, so yeah it's a nice looking bat. You're looking at a 38-39mm edge, and looking at that you're looking at a big spine, um, I'll just get the size of the spine for you, yep yeah, it is a big spine guys. You're looking at a 65mm spine, so you're getting a good edge and a big high spine. So it's a big bat, uh, it's weighing 211.1. And if you look down, there's a little bit more concaving on this one, and that's probably just to help keep the weight down, because it is a big bat, you're getting a big high spine, good size edges. Um, again, you've got all the same things, slightly thicker handle, semi-oval, nice ripple grip as well. So 211.1, that's including the fibre sheet fitting, so you're looking about 210.5 without the fibre sheet. Um, so we'll go on to the balance and the pickup. Yeah, it picks up really nice actually. It probably feels a little bit lighter than 210, but around about the 210 mark, it feels good in the hands. And um, we'll just tap it up with the Reader Sovereign Cricket Ball. So it pings well. I would say cricket bat number one probably felt a little bit better in terms of uh, the sound and the pinginess and the springiness of the wood but this one still pinged really well uh, but number one was probably a little bit better and that might have been helped by the shape being a little bit fuller 
it just had a slightly sweeter sound to it and a little bit more response uh, but this one still pings really good and still a really good cricket bat um, so that is TC 550 plus cricket bat number two uh, moving on to cricket bat number three and um, we'll just have a quick look this one I think it's got seven eight grains even and straight probably not as nice as the other ones looks wise and um, this probably looks more like a grade three grade four cricket bat whereas the other two look quite good for the grid um, you're looking at 37 millimeter edge and around 63 millimeter spine this one's lighter at 210.9 um, so again that includes the fiber sheet so probably 210.4 without the fiber sheet and if you look down the spine you do get a little bit of concaving as well um, a medium thick handle, semi oval at the bottom, uh, round towards the top. <coughs> what I've noticed with FC Sondi, they do like to move the hologram stickers around a little bit and the reason for that is they like to hide little blemishes. I'm not sure why. End of the day this is a grade 3, grade 4 cricket bat so you expect it to have a few little blemishes and if it's got a little knot on the back um, is there really any point putting the hologram sticker over it to hide it? I um, don't think so. Uh, the finishing is very good. Um, so yeah, there's a tiny little knot just behind the hologram sticker there. Um, but yeah, it's not going to really affect the performance. It's not on the face of the bat. It's not in the plane area. Um, it's on the back of the bat. So yeah, but that's just something I've noticed with FC Sony. They'd like to move the stickers around a little bit just to cover up little blemishes. Um, so let's just tap it up. This one really springy so it's not the best looking um, but it's definitely very springy very responsive I would say this is up there um, probably as responsive and as springy as maybe cricket bat number one it definitely pings better than cricket bat number two um, as you, yeah this is very good so this just shows if you're wanting performance it's not always the case buying the more expensive bat to get the best performing bat. Um, sometimes if you get a low performing bat, I mean a, a lower grade bat, you're still going to get a very good performing cricket bat. So, grade of willow does not always indicate performance guys, so just bear that in mind. Sometimes you can get a low grade bat that performs better than a top end bat. And this certainly performs very well guys. And again, 119.99 free UK mainland delivery, comes with a free New Balance padded back cover, excellent quality guys, really good value for money, really impressed with the 550 plus cricket bats from New Balance. So thank you again for watching, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and please click the link in the description below and it will take you straight to our website and you can have a look at all, all the bats, uh, we've got actual pictures, measurements of all the bats. They're all individually listed, so any bat you see that you like, if you click on that one and purchase it, that's the exact same bat that you'll receive. So thanks again for watching, guys. Until next time, I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.